leg of the World Series uh, happening in London. And uh, probably before we get to the Enterprise uh, Cup semi-finals, I would love to bring in uh, the Kenya Rugby Union Secretary, Geoffrey Gangler, to probably just tell us what are your views on the Kenya Sevens performance this season? Thank you very much for inviting me, and it's a pleasure to come and speak on behalf of KRU. Uh, I think you'll all agree with me that uh, this has been a very challenging season in terms of uh, the results have not really gone our way. Uh, we started well in the first two tournaments in uh, Dubai and South Africa, played quite well. Uh, then from uh, New Zealand and Australia, I think the team did underperform. Uh, U.S. has traditionally been a good hunting ground for us, but again, we didn't fire in the extent that we want. Then the Hong Kong leg was a bit more encouraging. I think we played in the in the in the main cup on on the day two, and then uh, this last leg has traditionally been a challenge, but that still is no excuse. It's just been a lot of things not working according to the plan. And 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 uh, many people want to know what's what's not working. Is it the technical bench? Is it the players? What is not happening? Because you see Gangla, when when Kenya wins out there like it did last year um, at the Singapore Sevens, I lifted the main cup uh, trophy. It was news. It was good news. And now if Kenya is also not performing, people still want to know why. I think the our problems probably started right at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, the greatest challenge was uh, we had to reconstitute the technical bench, and that only we got our technical bench in place at the beginning of November, which only gave us about four weeks of preparation before the, the start of the circuit. Uh, after the Olympics, uh, again, we didn't really have a good preseason. And what happens, the teams typically start at par, mm -hmm. more or less, but then the incremental growth has been, uh, is not able to keep up with the other, the other teams. And if you see, Teams like South Africa, they're playing at a much higher level than even they did last year because they've had that continuity. They've had the same coach for maybe four years now. And uh, it's not a surprise when they win. But I think with uh, some of the challenges we faced and try to address them the, the best way it come at times, it takes time for, for the result to come out. But I'm also encouraged when I look at even the top coaches, even if you look at Ben Ryan, mm -hmm. you look at... Uh, 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 even the current South African coach, the first year for any coach is normally challenging because you're getting to know the players, mm -hmm. they're trying to implement new things. So there are a lot of technical things that come into that and at times. Mm. And also just look at the circuit, look at teams like New Zealand, they're not playing yeah, teams, well. Teams have been improving and, yeah. and, and uh, probably looking at Kenya, uh, which is our main focus, the yeah. team went to the London leg last year at position seven. Yeah. Uh, the team went to London sevens this year at position 12. Yeah. What kind of conversation will you be having with the technical bench when they come back? Okay, first, uh, uh, we do have uh, a, a reporting structure. Mm -hmm. Uh, where the, the technical bench reports immediately to the director of rugby. And, and then there's the, the board committee, the National Scouts Committee, which has an element of oversight. So the first thing is obviously for the, the technical director to do a proper technical review mm -hmm. of what actually went wrong. And then uh, the, team will be, the technical team will be invited to also meet the National Scouts Committee. Uh, and just to also reiterate, this review is not only happening at the end of this season. Mm -hmm. After every tournament, the technical, the director of rugby does actually conduct a review and appraises the board. And then mid-season, the full national squads committee also met the technical bench. So it's not as if because of the poor performance you're reviewing. You have to review whether you're doing well or you're not doing so well. But uh, yeah, I mean, the results are there. Uh, the log doesn't lie, so we have to assess. And of, yeah, and of course, the whole, the whole season, um, there has been an issue with the players' contracts. Um, you know, where does that stand as of now? Did players get their contract? At some point, the, the chairman of the Kenya Rugby Union, Richard Omuela, said the problem now was not the contents of the contract, but the how long should the contract run? You know, has that been resolved? What's going on with the players' contracts? I think the issue of the contracts has been resolved. Mm -hmm. I think all the players are signed by the, by the Hong Kong tournament. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, I think even before they signed, we as KRU were honoring the obligations yeah. which were agreed upon. Mm -hmm. I think this year we've managed to play the players on time. So we haven't had any dispute about players. Mm -hmm. uh, and not just for the sevens, even for the fifteens. So I think there's a lot of progress in terms of that aspect of the game. So once we agreed what were the salaries, that was 
done. So they will pay it. And even if you haven't signed a contract, technically you actually do have a contract because you're rendering service and care is paying you for that service. And before we move on, um, the Kenya Rugby Union has, of course, had a look at the performance, has had a look at the technical bench. Um, many Kenyan fans want to know, does the union still feel like Innocent Simu is the coach, is a, is a, is a perfect person for the job? Uh, I think we're very confident about Innocent Simu. Uh, he has the right ability, and that's why we gave him the job in the first place. We obviously have to look at what's the causality, yeah? And that's why we want to ensure we have a, a more comprehensive review. Uh, so I don't want to preempt the, the outcome of that review, but I think talking to board members informally, everyone acknowledges maybe we started too late, maybe there are issues with the... You also know our strength and conditioning coach left at the beginning yeah, of February. So that, that again disrupted the program. So it's been a very disjointed season. So it's very difficult to say Innocent is the one responsible mm -hmm. for it. Okay. Yeah. So you've had the challenges the Kenya Rugby Union, or rather the Kenya Sevens team, has faced this season. I don't know if you're convinced. And uh, what kind of a season you look 